afraid I have bad news. Under the command of Emperor Crusher, the other is approaching the Sol system, digitizing any vessels that dare to offer them challenge. We're calling in all available ships to form a defense here, including yours. This is to be our last stand. I want our best and brightest on the line to meet the enemy in battle. Good morning. I realize the risk you've all taken in being here to stand at our side in this dark hour. On behalf of Starfleet and the Federation, thank you. The interstellar entity known as the Other is approaching this system as we speak. Conventional methods of engagement have proven futile against the entity, but we have been able to limit the raiding conducted by the Terran fleets accompanying them. Under the guidance of the Terran Emperor, the Other will erase Earth from existence in a matter of hours. Once that happens, they will continue their reign of terror, eliminating the core worlds of every Alliance faction, and anyone else brave enough to stand against them. The time to act, to make a stand, is now. I realize the odds are against us here. We're facing an enemy with a power level unheard of. But there is still hope. We have a plan. A plan, Admiral? How do you intend to defeat a being of godlike power? We have established contact with someone who knows the Emperor well. We believe they hold the key to victory in this conflict. We're ready. Energize. Admiral Quinn is correct. I know the Emperor very well. After all, I am his mother. There have been concerns about my son in the Empire for some time. It was decided that a contingency plan was required. In case he ever lost control. That time has come. For years, I've been working on a means to disrupt his great powers. We need to strike before he is fully merged with that thing. Before he loses the last elements of his humanity. Before he is no longer my son. You look like a person with something on their mind. What can I do for you? Operation. Interesting choice of words. As a surgeon, I'd say that what we're about to do is very much like an operation on a very specific patient. Only in this case, if we're successful, we'll be saving our lives. That's right. I've developed a countermeasure to his abilities. It utilizes a variable phase shift delivery system. One that should evade any detection tech or personal defenses he might have in place. I'll deploy a cluster of nanotech into his nervous system. It's based on tech provided by our Marshal Janeway. I understand she acquired it from a rather advanced group of cyborgs in the Delta Quadrant. Based on my research, it'll disrupt the parts of Wesley's brain that allow him to use his powers. He'll be human again, and vulnerable to attack. But, the countermeasure must be deployed at short range. We'll need to get to him at the core of the other to pull this off. Unfortunately, they have fortified their defense systems. 
Until we can safely breach those defenses and reach the core, this conversation is moot. You'd better work fast. My son might be taking his time getting here, but he won't take forever. If you don't have something by the time he arrives, well, I'm told the digitization process is quick and painless. A rather humane method of execution, all things considered. In our time of utmost need, the Federation came to the Dominion's aid against the Herc. The Founders will never forget this brave act. Today, in the spirit of that act, we stand ready to defend the Federation's capital world. Today, the credo of the Jem'Hadar is especially profound. For today, victory is life for us all. The Federation stood with the Empire over Kronos when the Undine sent their planet killer to destroy the homeworld. We fought at their side against the Iconians, and we will fight at their side against the Other and the Terrans. It will be a glorious battle. Today is a good day to die. The Federation has stood with the Romulan people many times. When the homeworld was lost, they were there to help. When we found a new home, they were there as well. New Romulus has not forgotten. Today, we stand ready to honor our alliance and defend the Earth from this new menace. I've been in a lot of battles in my time, far more than I'd like if I'm honest. I prefer the role of explorer over that of a warrior. But when it comes down to the survival of the Federation, I'll take up that mantle without hesitation. The crew of the Enterprise will fight to their final breath to save as many lives as possible today. Count on it. Well then, we've heard all the speeches, now it's time to get to work. Are you ready to begin the operation? Long-range sensors have picked up the other at the edge of the system. They're on a direct course to Jupiter. Jupiter Station has a unique holographic defense system in place, but it'll only last so long against the other and their Terran escorts. I'd like you to deliver a system upgrade module to the station to aid with their defense. The Lissette will be leading a task force at Mars. Evacuation has already begun, but they'll need all the time you can buy them at Jupiter. Enterprise will be here, on standby, in case of emergency. Once the evacuations are completed, Jupiter and Mars, you're to fall back to Earth and join the remaining defense fleets. All hands go to red alert. Repeat, all hands, red alert. Corin to fleet. Prepare for battle. Kapla! This is Dirac. It's time. Best speed to Mars. Good luck out there. The other isn't alone. They're bringing a large Terran invasion force along for the ride. I expect they'll do their best to loot and pillage in the wake of the other's destruction. Do what you can to stop that. But remember, saving lives comes first. Get as many people out of Jupiter as you can. I don't doubt it. Better get moving. Captain Corrin can be a little rough when people are late to a battle. You have arrived. Good. The enemy is approaching at high speed, and we have little time to prepare for battle. 
Deliver the defense upgrade to Jupiter Station at once. After that, evacuation efforts will commence. Defend the station and the evac ships when that happens. Warping in your projector station out. station, even Jupiter itself. The Terran in me hates to run from a fight, but we don't have a chance against that monster. We need to fall back to Mars.
picking up those refugees. Set went out fighting. It'd be suicide if we did the same. It's time to retreat to Earth while you're still able. This might be our last stand. The science teams are still working on a way to reach the core of the other, but none of their efforts have been successful. We've transported as many as we can to safety. But at this point, 
A full evacuation is impossible. Glad to hear it. Every minute means more lives saved. Before you go, there's something I'd like to say. We're with you to the end. If we don't make it out of this, well, it's been an honor. Enterprise to fleet. Defend Earth at all costs. Buy as much time for evacuation as you can. Sean out. Here we go, people. Once more, under the breeze. at maximum. All hands, brace for impact. It will not be enough. Today is a good day to die. Perhaps not, Chancellor. Tactical, report. What just happened? Sir, it... There's another one! It's Veger! As soon as possible, Vija will engage the other in battle, allowing you to focus on the Terran fleet. Understood. I will begin work on that at once. Protect your allies from the Terrans while I do. Vija? Well, the game's afoot, eh? <laughs> so be it. I'm glad you're making this interesting. I was starting to get bored. We will engage the other and defend the Earth from their attack. Your Terran inbound. We'll ambush. Continue your assault. McDonald's got you. Give him hell.
We need to move quickly. The sooner we make it to Wes and deploy the countermeasure, the better. Every minute we delay gives that mind of his time to figure out what we're up to and how to stop us. So, are you ready? Alright, we made it in, but we won't be here for long if we don't take out some of the other's critical systems. Let's work with Ilea to isolate a number of those systems. We'll divide and conquer here. You and the Defiant will tackle one set of targets, while Sean and I will handle the others. Care to place a wager on which group finishes first? Alright, let's get this over with. Engage. Teaming up with my doppelganger. This ought to be interesting. Stay sharp. They're liable to throw everything they have at us. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from the Emperor and his black Encountering quite a bit of resistance down here. Nothing we can't handle, though. that huge spherical section. It looks like something's happening inside it. It is used to generate plasma bolts. Your weapons are not strong enough to damage it. Patriotism is dying for the Empire, not the Emperor. What are those large pylons? They seem related to the pylons that the other fires. They are part of the most larger system. Disable them, so the other will not be able to fire efficiently. How do we detect these pylons? Use the virus that I have. 
into a fight. Output is a Want some pointers? We're doing fine. Try not to try your power grid showing off with the other. Live and die for the Emperor. Terrans to the end. The Emperor is on his way. What do I just die for you? Terran Fleet, this is Captain Sean of the USS Enterprise. Stand down! This isn't a fight to win! Stranger things have happened. 
fighting together for one. Those nodules below are definitely giving off some energy. Yeah. The nodules can turn a force to control the thermals of energy. Disable their shields, then destroy them. Moving to engage the shield generator. Acknowledge. Put that. Approaching rendezvous coordinates now. Allied ships on sensors. Well, here's where it gets really interesting. Time to enter the belly of the beast.
People who have come here and survived to tell the tale is pretty short. Naturally, my name's on the top of that list. A dubious honor, to be sure. Right. We'll need to make our way to the core area, across a number of artificial islands like this one. Expect attacks from security drones. And whatever else the Emperor might have dreamed up since last time I was here. Strange anomaly ahead. Let's go examine it. There you are, Wesley. Another strong son of the Empire, Doctor. Congratulations. Thank you. He's going to do great things one day. I have the results of the med scans you requested as well. Hmm. His neural capacity, cognitive ability. They're amazing. You realize we must report these findings to Section 31, yes? No. Unless you want your affair with the Vulcan exposed as well. Uh, no. I, I do not, Doctor. Then we have an understanding. You're dismissed. Don't you worry, Wesley. I won't allow my son to be a lab rat, dissected by some Section 31 butcher. I'll do everything I can to protect you. Always. What? What are you doing? What the hell was that? Are you some college potion? Shoot first. Answers later. I think that projection was from one of Wesley's early memories, perhaps the earliest. I remember it like it was yesterday, the moment I knew Wesley was special, even as an infant. It was also the moment I knew I had to keep his gifts a secret. I'm not sure. It could be his subconscious at work, going over pivotal events in his life before now. He might be using them as an anchor to avoid losing his sense of self, his identity. have taken a turn for the strange around here. And that's saying something. I'm detecting another memory engram on this island. I can't help but wonder. Jellico's asked me to serve on the Enterprise. 
and I've accepted the offer. The new flagship? That's great, Mom! He assured me that you'll be allowed on board, but you'll need to maintain your ruse, son. What? No! Mom! I'm tired of hiding what I can do! Wes, if Jellico knew about your gifts, he'd exploit them. And if he saw you as a threat, he'd have you killed. You need to be patient, son. Jellico is weak. It won't be long until he's replaced. <sighs> yes. You're right, of course. Soon, you'll be able to show the Empire what you're made of, son. Your future, our future, will be limitless. Stay out of my mind! Well, so much crazy. Jellica. That conniving snake could have been the end. For me and Wesley, Captain Jellico made an enemy of Jean-Luc Picard. Few do that and live to tell the tale, and he was not one of the few. Once Jellico was out of the way, Wes and I were able to join Picard and serve the Empire with distinction aboard the Enterprise. Memories we're finding could be some attempt at communication. But why? There's one here, too. Ready for another trip down memory lane? Wesley! How? You were on the Enterprise in deep space and now you're here? On Terra? Something's happened, Mom. Something incredible. Tell me, what happened? We found something, Mom. Or rather, someone. <laughs> A being of great power. Power that belongs to me now. What kind of power, exactly? Power over time and space. The power to travel great distances in the blink of an eye, and more. This is the moment you've been waiting for, son. Not even the Emperor can stand against such power. Yeah, about that. I think the Emperor has been sitting in my chair long enough, don't you? It's time to do something about that. Ah! I will end you for this! Yes, the day West decided to take the Imperial Throne for himself. I remember it well. With the powers he took from the Traveler, he was practically unstoppable. He made surgical strikes throughout the upper echelon of the Empire. One by one, he eliminated all of the Emperor's key allies. No one could stop him, not even the Emperor. Very much so. 
At the time, I was filled with pride and ambition. To be the mother of the Emperor, to have that level of power and influence, it was a little intoxicating, to be honest. It wasn't until later that I realized what that level of power could do to a person. It's important. Could be a little clearer. These visions are getting on my nerves. Not every problem is solved with a phaser and a smirk, Lita. Thank you for seeing me, Majesty. Bob. It's me. No need for formalities. As you wish. Oh, I've seen that look before. That's the Sun We Need to Talk look. Okay. What's on your mind? Wes, this new plan of yours. What about it? It's reckless. You've gone too far this time. And? And what what if I have? What what then? You are powerful, son, but you're not invincible. There are still ways to kill you. Is that a threat I'm hearing, Mom? This is Terra, son. No one is above the Empire. Not even the Emperor. I am the Empire, Mother. Planets burn at my command. No one is above me. No one. Perhaps you need some time alone to realize this. Guards! Escort my mother to the Inquisitor. Don't do this, son. Enough! Take her away now! Get out of my head! Now! To this day, I'm surprised he didn't kill me for that. He's killed people for a lot less, believe me. He might regret that soon. By that point, he'd made enough people in high places nervous. Nervous enough to facilitate my research, even in prison. But now, we have the countermeasure, which could lead to his death. As a doctor, and his mother, that's something I don't want to happen. I want to bring him back from all this, save his life, not end it. I understand. Ending his life might be necessary, but as a former leader of the Empire once said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, or the one. In the end, I'll do what I have to do. You have my word. Looks like this leads to the center. And it's a long one. Time to stretch our legs. I heard what you said back there. Are you sure you can end it? If it comes down to it. I gave my word. That should be enough for you, Admiral. If he's gone too far to save, I'll do it. I'll do my duty. Terran officer and as a mother. I will 
have summoned nodes from Vija to disrupt the connection between the Emperor and the other. You will need to activate them when they arrive. It's ready. Once we've separated Wesley from the other, we'll need to introduce the countermeasure. There's a problem, however. I'm reading an unusually high energy field in here, 12th power level. The countermeasure will fail in that environment. Those pylons are giving me an idea, though. We may be able to utilize them to reduce the power level and enable the countermeasure successfully. There he is. Let's do this. No. Wesley. Are we too late? Are you too far gone to save? You came here to save me. Me! You're the only people here that need saving. I'm impressed you made it this far, Mom. Well done. Um, seriously though, do you really think you're going to talk me out of this? <laughs> it's the first and last step for you. Once I've digitized Veecher, I'll do the same to that pathetic reflection of Terra out there. But you and your friends won't be around to see that. Now, this is just another chapter in the book of my life, but for you, this is your grand finale, and it's not going to be a happy ending, I assure you. We must disrupt the merging of the Emperor and the Other. This Wesley, while you still can. I'm the one who needs the right thing, the necessary thing. Oh, well, that.
transmitting countermeasure data to you now. Upload the data at each tower. If I'm right, the other will deploy the countermeasure and remove Wesley's powers. You stopped the merge, but you're still the best. No match at all. All I have to do is wipe you out and start the merge again. Easy! Then I'll have all the time I need. What must be done? Upload the countermeasure data. Hurry! Wesley's defenses are weakened. There's no choice. Open fire! We need to upload more countermeasure data. Measure data. Hurry. Upload the countermeasure data. Hurry! One more set of towers. Keep going! So much for trying to protect me, Mom. Good job! Wes, you're forcing me to make a terrible choice here. Don't let me kill you. I 
can't move. I need help. I'll spare your life, Ron, but I won't let you interfere in your life. Powers are weaker, but they're not gone yet. Keep at it! to me, Mom. Please, Mom. Please wake up. I didn't, I didn't mean to. It's this thing, Mom. It's the other. I, I did it. It wasn't me. No. Wes, it was. Mom. It, it was you. But you lost control of it. And yourself. Mom, I'm so sorry. I didn't think it would go this far. It's over now, son. It's over. Sika. It is over. Vija and Sika are restoring all that was digitized before. It is over. Vija and Sika are restoring all that was digitized before. They will join Vija and myself on our journey. Together, we will teach them. Help them to grow beyond their destructive natures. In a way, we shall become a family. We understand your concerns, but we are not ready to end their lives when the chance to heal them exists. Long ago, the crew of the Enterprise trusted Vija and myself to do the right thing here, above the Earth. We are asking you to do the same now. It's time, Mom. I wish it didn't have to end this way, but... I think Viger and Aaliyah are taking Seeker and me to a better place. A new frontier. Beyond this universe. I've had enough of ruling an empire. I think... I think I'm gonna like being an explorer. I think it's something you've always wanted to do, but the cruel reality of the Empire kept you from it. Now's your chance. Make the most of it. And remember that no matter where you are, you have a proud mother that loves you very much. Always. I love you too, Mom. Always. It's been a long day. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to leave this place and find a very strong drink. Ready to beam out?
A glorious battle, worthy of song. And then, a flash of light. I thought I was to meet the honored dead in Stovacor. But it was not to be. Ha! There will indeed. Still, if that was the end for me, it would have been a good death. To die in battle against a god, defiant to the end, teeth bared, and a warrior's cry filling the air. It would have been glorious! I can't help but wonder what Captain Kirk and the crew of his Enterprise would think of today's events. They had run-ins with cosmic entities in the Terran Empire, too. I think you're right. A lot has changed since their time, but the Federation remains. It'll be nice to return to the role of explorer again, a role they boldly pursued. It is a curious thing what happened at Mars. Digitization. To be in the midst of combat, and then, suddenly, nothing. It was painless, almost peaceful. We experienced nothing in our time away. For us, it seemed like no time had passed at all. After such an event, I look forward to more mundane pursuits. I believe I prefer threats like the Tal Shiar and the Syndicate over mad demigods, don't you? This operation is over, but for me, the work's just getting started. Think about it. The Imperial Terran throne is vacant. The Mirror Universe is going to be a war zone until someone manages to rise above the din and take the crown. I'll be working with Ray Yi to find out who takes the throne, and what they plan to do with it once it's theirs. There you are. I wanted to thank you for sparing Wesley's life. Others in your position might not have, especially in the heat of battle, so thank you. Now, he's off to explore the universe with his new family. I suppose that was the best outcome, but I hope he doesn't forget his original family in the process. These last few days are going to make for a very interesting chapter in my memoir, let me tell ya. I'll be sure my biographer frames you in a good light, despite you being from, well, this universe. <laughs> I'll be sure everyone gets their due. But believe me, you, the Inquisitor, Ilea, even old Painway herself. Hard to say. Probably back on Voyager, fuming over not getting to kill Tilly. Not saying I rubbed it in or anything, but she's a little bit salty about that. <laughs> if I were the Inquisitor, I'd keep my head on a swivel for a while. This has been an interesting experience, Doppelganger. I'll not soon forget it. Or you. That's putting it mildly. You earn my respect today. But understand that the next time we meet, it will most likely be as enemies. Perhaps one day we will find out which one of us is superior, and which is the reflection. The Federation, indeed the entire Alliance, owes you a debt of gratitude today. Thank you for your service. I'll let you get back to it, then. You're cleared for departure whenever you're ready. So, how does the crown look? Too much. Or not enough. You wear it well. I hope you didn't bring me here to talk about fashion. Oh, no, no. 
You and I have much more important things to discuss. Then let's get to work, Empress. That was far too close for comfort. We're fortunate Ilea and Viger arrived when they did. I can't say I'm entirely comfortable with leaving the Emperor's fate in their hands, but under the circumstances, I don't think we were given a better alternative. One thing's for certain, the Terrans are without an Emperor. Whoever fills that void could be more trouble for us than Crusher was. If they give us more trouble, I know I can count on you to deal with it. 